Of these nine pieces, can you guess which four are solid wood? Sometimes it's really hard to tell, and a lot of pieces are a mix of both. On this piece, there's a wood composite or MDF top and then formica over it. The back is just a little piece of plywood. MDF or wood composite engineered wood cannot be sanded down. It's a bunch of pieces of wood glued together. Wood shavings most of the time. Now when we go around to the top, there's a big chip out of this formica. That will have to be patched and repaired before it can be painted. Um, most of the time we'll use Bondo or wood filler and then sand it smooth before we paint it. Because it's Formica, it's going to have to have a conversion primer on it. Formica is that shiny, slick, plasticky feeling surface. So we'll go ahead and use some Ultra Grip on that before we paint. Now this is a whole different piece. Now this piece is mostly solid wood. Now there is some MDF and I'll show you that in a minute, but the drawers are solid wood and most of the piece is solid wood. Now going around back, you'll see that that top right there is composed of two layers of wood. Now it's kind of, you know, patched together in the back. And you'll see that in just a second. There is a wood veneer, and veneer is just a thin sheet of wood. Usually it's a nicer piece of wood going over lesser quality woods uh, historically. Veneers can be sanded down, they can be stained. You just have to be careful not to use too aggressive of a grit because if you do, you can sand through it. On this piece, it wouldn't matter so much. You could just remove the entire veneer and then just sand the top. When we go around to the front, you'll be able to see the MDF. Now the MDF composes a lot of the structural parts of this dresser or credenza. So some of the framing has that MDF and you can see it there. It kind of looks like corkboard. And up underneath is a solid wood top. It's a really nice piece and I wouldn't be worried about um, this MDF swelling or getting misshapen over time. I'm getting ready to show you one of the new pieces that we carry in the store. This is one of the white wood furniture pieces. It's solid wood, it's plantation wood, and often called rubber wood or para wood. But plantation wood is the wood that creates latex. So once these trees stop producing latex, they actually are harvested for a nice solid wood. It's not super high quality like oak or walnut, but a lot of those woods are out of the price ranges of a lot of our customers. So this is a great alternative to a $3,000 dresser. Our furniture pieces from Whitewood range from, um, on dressers, around $500 to up to $1,300. So some of them can be a little bit more expensive, but they're really a great price point for a solid wood piece of furniture. There is still value in MDF or engineered wood furniture. They're just not as durable and they're more susceptible to warping from humidity and moisture. They definitely won't last for generations like a solid wood piece of furniture will, but they do serve a purpose, especially for some of my lower budget customers, you know, like teenagers or college kids. So, you know, it's okay if you buy an MDF piece of furniture, just know that it won't last for you to pass down to your grandkids. All of these collages are a mix of regular solid wood, engineered wood, some of them are even particle board, and a lot of MDF. Most new furniture in production, like those that you see at Ashley Furniture, are 99% not solid wood. If you look closely, they will say engineered wood. Thanks for hanging out with us at Flipping Fabulous.